I'm Camille Benoit, I'm 18 years old, and I go to Atlantic County Institute of Technology in Mays Landing. So mock trial helped me instill leadership qualities. I think the biggest one I learned was how to speak in front of people, but also how to take critiques well. I think a lot of people need to like learn how to take critiques well as a leader. Um, some people can get like really caught up over the bad things people say, but mock trial helped me take those things and take what the judges say, because these are real judges that I go in front of, and then I take that and the next year I get better in the competition and I always use what they say to get better. I don't get emotionally attached to it. I just really like take it and then I become a better person because of it and I think that's a big thing for a leader. They need to be able to listen, especially in politics, they need to be able to listen to their constituency and what they say about them and use it to become a better politician. So when I interned in local politics, it really helped me see like the civic process and understand that kids these days, people my age, they really need to get involved and realize like Local politics is just as important as who your president is or anything like that because that's where it starts. You need to vote for your assemblymen, vote for your congressmen, state senators, but they also really listen too. When I was there, I would take down what people said and then I'd bring it back to the um, assemblymen or the congressmen and we'd find solutions for these people within the community. And I think you got to realize that they are there to help you. They're not just some figurehead. They are there to help you and help their community and they serve you. So you need to be involved. You need kids these days really need to go out and vote and get involved in their community. A lot of us go on social media and complain about things, but that's it. But you can go out there and organize protests and get involved in your community and that's what's important. So in my own life I've had a lot of problems like my dad um, using drugs and that was like really hard for me and I felt like my life would be like spiraling out of control and when I volunteered it gave me like some part of like giving back to the community and having something I can control and help people. At Field of Dreams it was always like so nice to go there and see that kids can play baseball too that have like these disabilities and help them out and I love baseball, I manage a baseball team <laughs> and so like going there like really kept my mind off of these bad things and like made me feel better about my community and like see the good in the world because there's so much that you can focus on that's bad in the world and get caught up in that and I just like I liked going there because it was like all the good things that made me so happy. It's important to become a leader in your community because every community needs good leaders. Like you need to grow up, you need those politicians, you need those doctors, you need the people that are going to serve you. And um, I feel like our generation gets a really bad rap for just um, using social media and the technology we do have for negative things. But when you become a leader on those things, you inspire other people to do well and go out and do good things. And I think like it teaches you to be a better person on social media if you see those better people doing those things. So you need to be a leader on social media especially since it's always with you and a leader in your community and just like be able to impact people and show them that there is good in the world.